I'm Abby Stewart. I'm a faculty member in psychology and women's studies, and I've been the co-director of the uh, Global Feminisms Project since sometime in the early 2000s. I'm Kristen McGuire. I'm a co-director of the Global Feminisms Project, which is an oral history project here at the university based at the Institute for Research on Women and Gender. One of the things we really wanted to do in Global Feminisms was to record for posterity oral histories with feminist scholars and activists in multiple countries where I wouldn't be and then make them available to each other. We had a problem we didn't know how to solve and our problem was we were doing oral histories wanting to have them on a virtual archive and we were all extremely inexperienced and sort of naive about the technical side of it. The people on this project were academics trained in a discipline. We, none of us had technical skills to deal with media. So when we first started working with Tom, it was absolutely, a, we had a sense of helplessness. We were going to this person who knew exactly what to do, and our sort of vision was, we'll just turn it over to you and you take care of it. <laughs> Tom's vision was different. It was, I will do everything I need to do, but there are lots of things you can do, and I can teach you how to do them. And we were skeptical that this was in fact true. <laughs> We didn't think we could learn how to do them, but we did. And as we learned how to do them, we also could ask questions better. So I would say there's absolutely no way we could have done the project without Tom, because often we didn't even know what our questions were. So we could meet with Tom and say, here's our situation, here's what we're trying to figure out, what do we need to know? That feeling that he was a partner with us, because he fully understood all the dimensions of the project, was really valuable. The other side of that is he had confidence that he could teach us how to do what we needed to know and that so could our partners. That yes, this person in some other country who he'd never met would be able to figure this out. And if they couldn't, he was available, he'd help. So that sense that of his confidence that other people can do things, that we could do things and so could our partners made a huge difference and we took a leap and it worked. Tom has been incredibly well positioned to help us because he both helps us directly and at various times of the project helps us to identify an intern who can do certain parts of the labor that we need and he's an extremely, for us, he's been an extremely resourceful person and he knows so well all the workings of the university itself that either he gets us what he needs or he sends us to the right place and that's helpful. This project wouldn't have had the scope, the dimension, and the impact that it's had if it hadn't been with Tom's support and help. It couldn't have because we didn't know how to do it, and we also didn't know what we didn't know. We didn't know how to ask for it. The fact that he was prepared to get into the um, understanding at the level of, that we, we could explain it made all the difference. He didn't need a, he never made us feel like we should have understood more and been more technically sophisticated. Uh, he took us where we were and appreciated what we could do <laughs> and then uh, he took it from there. Yeah, and that's all true. <laughs> <laughs>